Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Fat girl -esque. and today I am wanting to film a vlog style informational video about pre-pregnancy, fitness, and health. So I actually did film this already and just a sit down video, but it was so boring and I was like, what in the world? I even, I'll even show you. I started editing it and everything. This is what I was editing. It's just me talking, my makeup's all done, and I'm like very formally explaining why you should prepare for pregnancy and why it's important, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so boring. I was going through, I'm like, why would anyone want to watch this? I don't even want to watch it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to do vlog style and just go through the same points that I went through in my other video, but just also show you guys what's going on in my life at the same time. Jacob and I are having breakfast at the moment. <laughs> Raspberries are his absolute favorite. It is so cute. What is it? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh. So what I'm having for breakfast, um, I have raspberries too, but they are on top of these rice cakes. And um, it's just homemade almond butter, which is actually, is, that sounds so fancy, but it's really not hard at all. I just roast them for like 15 minutes and then put them in this little blender thing and make almond butter and then yeah so raspberries and bananas and this is so good and for those of you who don't know I'm gluten free now because um, apparently I have a gluten intolerance which really stinks but it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be yeah I just want to give you guys that update while we're here and I'm going to give you my first point of preparing for you want more okay let me get you more I am just going to stand here and go through my first point instead of sitting over there feeding Jacob because first of all, he's done eating. Second of all, uh, he's just a little energetic and wants to play on the ground and I can't get on his level and hold the camera or he'll try to grab the camera. And you'll hear him in the background while I speak. But I guess that's the point of a vlogging version of this is that it's not gonna be boring. You'll definitely hear babies crying and laughing in the background. So. Here we go. So the first point is creating a realistic mindset, which is so important because if your mind is not prepared for pregnancy, neither will your body. Neither will your body be prepared for pregnancy. I don't know if I needed to add that. Jacob, what the? Sorry, he like did something with the TV. No, how did you even do that? Okay, <laughs> I'm back. I told you this would be more entertaining in a vlog version. So another thing that you need to think about to prepare your mind is what is pregnancy going to be like? Think about it. You know that people experience aversions and cravings. So there's some foods they hate and there's some foods, I act like they, like all those pregnant people. There's some, <laughs> there's some foods they hate, there's some foods they love and crave and can't get enough of. And yes, these things can be very random. Sorry, I keep on looking back to make sure that Jacob's not <laughs> dying. <laughs> so yeah, obviously these things can be very random and unpredictable. But to be honest, I think some of these things are more predictable than you might think. Because if there's something that you have a small aversion to right now, it's more likely going to be emphasized and intensified when you're pregnant. And same thing with cravings. If there's something that you crave or you just absolutely love right now, it's most likely going to become a more intense craving when you're pregnant. For example, like my sister loves cheese. And so when she was pregnant, Guess what she craved? Cheese, because it's something that she already loved. And for me, it's kind of the same thing, like sugar, like I love sugar, and so I craved sugar. Jacob, what is it? You wanna join me? You wanna join me? Here we are. <sighs> a few other things you should uh, take into consideration is how you're going to be losing muscle, so it's important to build muscle when before you get pregnant. You're going to have lower energy levels. So if you have low energy levels now, it's important to try to build those up so that they don't get to like an all time low when you get pregnant. It's important to consider how you may deal with morning sickness. That's the most common through first trimester. I dealt with it, it was really hard. And there was a few times where I pushed through workouts even through my morning sickness, which was awful. And I don't know if I would do that again. You might end up just being like throwing up everything and you can't really do a lot when you're that sick. And although they call it morning sickness, it's not just in the morning. It can go throughout the entire day and some people only have it at night. 
it's kind of random um, i know that not from just personal experience but from what i studied in a human sexuality class when i did a project over pregnancy so i also just want to stress that it is important to go through all these things and think about what pregnancy is going to be like for you and how bad or good it could be because although it's unpredictable you can still do your very best to prepare for the worst to prepare for the worst because even if you're just completely destined or it's in your dna to <laughs> just have a bad pregnancy sorry i had to put them down i was just gonna say it just doesn't hurt to start a healthy lifestyle now because if anything it's just going to help you even if your pregnancy still ends up being hard it would have been harder if you weren't healthy to start out so just do everything that you can right now to get healthy and fit so that when you get pregnant it will be easier even if it's not like the easiest experience of your life <laughs> if you know what i mean i hope this video is helpful um that was like the first like main introduction point because that's kind of like just like the foundation for everything else i'm going to share so I hope that you guys enjoy going through this day with me and learning these points. And I'm sorry if Jake is making all this noise throughout the entire thing. It is more entertaining than me just sitting in a chair and lecturing, I promise. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back. I just put Jacob down for a nap and I changed it to my workout clothes. And I need to work out in here, but I need to first clean it so I actually have room. Yeah. But while I'm here, I thought I might as well give you guys on my next point or points and then i'll explain it after my workout <clears throat> i have my paper here it's like my script for this vlog so i have apr which is analyze purge and replace which is going to be the next point that i explain in depth after my workout and then there's experiment and then there's aan which is adjust as needed so that is basically going to be the rest of my vlog is those three points so i'll be back to explain them and I might just let you guys watch me clean this room and work out a little bit so that it can be a real Fackerless vlog. Here I am, know it's been a while. I was in denial about my love. Here I stand, I know I walked away. Had to find the person I'd become. You should go back home, go back home, go back home. And if you guys are wondering, this is what we have until we get an actual baby gate. <laughs> it's been working great because Jacob is learning how to climb up the stairs. So that's kind of our best option right now. <laughs> you should go back home, go back home, go back home, go Okay guys, so I'm back. I'm much more put together. I took a shower and did my makeup before Jacob woke up from his nap. So that worked out very nicely. <laughs> That's not always the case, but today it was. So I'm very grateful. And so now I want to go to my next point, which is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I am going way too far ahead of myself. Before I really jump into this, I just want to let you guys know that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. I have not been formally trained in this area of like health. I have just done personal research and I'm just another mom who has found what works for her. Okay. Like, I'm, and I'm not claiming that this is like the perfect solution for everybody. But I am trying to prevent you guys, not prevent you guys, I'm trying to present you guys with facts that I feel like helped me that are really basic so that you can customize your own, I guess, health plan because really everybody's body is so different. And so I'm not going to tell you exactly how much to eat and what to eat. And I really think that's the key here to have a maintainable, enjoyable way of 
living because you do want to make it a lifestyle which i'm sure you hear from every health vlogger in the entire world so <laughs> i'm first going to just uh tell you guys about the first point which is analyze per dinner place and i'm just going to show you guys like an example of this so if i were to go look at my pantry so i'm going to analyze my pantry sorry it's kind of <laughs> messy it's not like i have a super organized pantry i should probably work on that but um so obviously first things first like i see all this chocolate and like this jelly that's full of sugar i'm sure i bet it's like the second or third ingredient strawberries corn syrup high fructose corn syrup yep peanut butter so i'm analyzing even the products and seeing if it's actually good for me and on here it says the first ingredient is peanuts and the second ingredient sugar that's a bad sign because that means there's a lot of sugar in it because they put it in order of how much of that thing is in this so sugar is the most second most used ingredient in this peanut butter after i analyze it i'm going to purge it so those things theoretically i would go just throw away oh sorry the lighting is so weird what the heck why is the lighting like that was it like this the entire time <laughs> I'm gonna freak you out. Okay, sorry guys. Theoretically, you would analyze those items, analyze your pantry, you would purge them, so just throw them out, throw them in the trash can, and you would replace them with a better alternative. By that, I mean, instead of like having the peanut butter with the second ingredient being sugar, you would replace it with a natural peanut butter that's literally just peanuts and sea salt or something like that. And then a few other substitutes for things. Like for me, I really like these homemade like energy bites that I make and they are like kind of curve my sweet tooth and I love it I'm gonna take out one okay so look how delicious that looks so doesn't that just look amazing so it's literally just so it's almonds and then my almond butter that has a crack of sea salt vanilla and uh, cinnamon in it and I have dates and that might be it is that literally all oh no 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 because I have dark chocolate in there and it's like 85% cacao. And then like the mini chocolate chips on the top are just decoration, but most of the time I don't even have chocolate chips on top because it's just as good without them, without them. <laughs> and anyway, so that's kind of like my replacement for actual chocolates and truffles and stuff. And the reason why I have sugary stuff in my house now, like at the beginning when I first started my journey, I needed to purge everything because it was a temptation and I knew I would give in, like I knew myself well enough. And you know yourself well enough, if you know that you can resist it and make it to where you can only have it once a week then don't worry about like purging absolutely everything but if you know yourself and you know you're not going to be disciplined to resist it throughout the week then it's just better to get rid of it now and then replace it completely and another thing to replace like sugary stuff with is fruit so here i have apples and bananas i literally put these with like everything like oatmeal cereal toast it's just, I don't know, it just sweetens everything and makes it taste so delicious. So fruit is always a great alternative um, to sugary things. I also use like avocado instead of mayo because they're similar tastes and you can make it a similar texture just by like smashing up the avocado like it's as if it's like a guacamole um, and putting it on sandwiches and things like that. What else? I don't know, there's like a billion things that you can do. You can literally look on Pinterest and look up like healthy alternatives or healthy replacements and It'll give you like a huge list of things to do and yeah so that's like my first point that i think is so important because my next point is actually experiment which ties in very well with that first point because um, when you're replacing things you have to experiment with different kinds of foods so what i did i would like buy like a new vegetable every week or a new fruit every week and see what i liked and then i just pick and chose like what i loved and what i didn't and so kale i don't get very often because i don't like it but i always get romaine lettuce i always get spinach um spinach i use both in salads and in shakes and then i also really like pineapple and mango and peaches and plums so like i, I never really tried plums but it turns out like they're like my favorite i love them so much but yeah you just need to experiment with a bunch of different kinds of foods and that's how you find out what to replace your stuff with and if you end up if you end up wasting your money and getting something you don't like it's really not a waste of money because at least now you know so the next week you can try something new and um, eventually you'll have like a regular grocery list of things that you love that are also very healthy 
And oh, also a big replacement is white bread. Instead of having white bread, replacing it with whole grain bread. So that's a big one. Um, I can't have gluten anymore, so instead of having like bread, I usually have like rice and potatoes. And so that has been a replacement for me just because I am gluten intolerant now, um, which I, I'm pretty sure has developed um, during my pregnancy or did develop during my pregnancy. So anyway, oh, Jacob. That's a new thing he's been doing. It's like hitting his head against the wall. Or in this case, like the counter, but anyway. That's um, those two points and I'll get into more in just a little bit, but I'm just gonna eat because <laughs> it's lunchtime and I have not prepared anything, but I'm pro probably gonna roast some sweet potato because I love sweet potato. And we'll see what else I do. Talking about what are you talking about? Can I see the sweet potatoes? Just kidding, you can't eat that right now. They're hard. See? Try to cut it. Yes! And that's why Cutco knives are worth it. So. Talking about. Oh, what the? Jacob. Hello, world. Hope you're listening. Forgive me if I'm young. Speaking out of turn. Oh no! There's someone I've been missing. I think that they could be the better half for me. <laughs> so come home. You better come home. You're my baby. Jacob keeps on getting into things while I vlog. <laughs> it's making things really hard. Okay, just real quick. This is what it looks like after I've seasoned it and like moved it around in the olive oil um, to spread it all out. So this is going to go into the oven at 400 degrees for maybe 20 minutes. I cut them really thin so I could do that. I didn't want to take very long <laughs> because I'm hungry. And I think this is a great replacement for like fries <laughs> because I know you can also get those fake fries at the store and bake them in the oven for like 15 minutes. I know I actually used to really like those, but now that I've had real whole food and have found out that I can make it taste just as good if not better, now I just go with this. And I do this with like regular potatoes too, but I feel like being a little fancy and using sweet potato because that is actually my favorite. So anyway, I will keep you guys updated with how my meal turned out. <laughs> Okay guys, so I forgot to take a video of what my sweet potatoes look like right out of the oven. So I'm eating right now, but I'm having turkey spaghetti that's like leftover from yesterday. I make spaghetti every single week. Some romaine lettuce that I just chopped up and then my sweet potatoes and oh my goodness. How amazing does that look? Oh, it looks so good. Just like nice and brown, just on the edges on the outside. Like, ugh, that is perfect. And even Jacob likes it. Yep, sweet potatoes are definitely Jacob approved. He loves them so much. <laughs> and whenever he runs out, he like starts freaking out. So <laughs> just keep giving it to him. So yeah, that's, I guess, a typical meal for me. It has the carbs, it has the veggies, and then my protein. Oh, and then healthy fats is like the olive oil that I cook the sweet potato with. And I have this like avocado sauce or dressing that I put over my salad. And that's also healthy fats. I always recommend people start with their portion sizes being half their plate with greens, a quarter of it being carbs and a quarter of it being protein, and then also just throw some healthy fats in there, whatever it might be. My personal favorites is just like olive oil and... Um, what is it? Olive oil and avocado. Those are my favorite fats to eat. Oh, and also nuts. Oh, I love almonds and pecans and any of that. But yeah, start with that type of portion size and see if you are satisfied. <laughs> he wants more sweet potato. I'm gonna get more. Okay, I'll get you more, baby. Don't worry. So yeah, just start with those portion sizes and if you're still not satisfied after a couple of weeks, then just adjust. And I guess that's part of the last point, which is adjust as needed with food and exercise and everything. It's like... Oh, he's so excited. 
Okay, I need to tear it up for you, dude. You want to adjust as needed at the end for your last point um, with food. Like if you need more protein, like for me, after a while I realized I needed more protein and I needed more fats. Just for my personal body type, that's what I needed. Because that's what keeps me full. As you guys can tell, I am naturally small. I'm very long and lanky. Let's just say it like that. And that's just my natural body. There's nothing I can do to change my bone structure or anything, but I can try to make it the most fit version of myself. And so to do that, I have to have more protein and more healthy fats to maintain my energy levels and just overall health. So it really just depends on you. And that's my advice to you guys. So hopefully that's helpful. Okay guys, so I'm coming to a close with my vlog. It is 7 p.m. I have friends coming over soon. So Connor took Jacob out and now I'm just gonna sit here and tell you guys about the exercise portion of these points. So let's just jump right into it. APR, as I said like a billion times, stands for analyze, purge, and replace. So you need to analyze where you are physically if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And based on that, you need to determine whether or not you should work out for 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day if you're a very beginner, or maybe even an, maybe an hour if you're experienced and you're pretty athletic already. And you also need to, I guess, analyze what you have time for, if you have time to work out three times a week, five times a week. I do recommend starting out, if you're a beginner, 15 to 30 minutes, three times a week. Now, I don't know if that's like the perfect thing for you, but I do recommend starting out that way. Um, and that's when purge comes in. You need to purge certain things in your life or sacrifice certain things in your life that take up the time that you could be working out. So that could include video games, that can include your phone, social media, anything that is distracting you from doing what you want to do, which is create a healthier you, create a healthier lifestyle, and exercise instead. And it's literally just 30 minutes. If there's like 30 minutes of your time in the evening or in the morning that you have or you can make, then take it. If you're really truly wanting to prepare for pregnancy and become a fit person, then you're gonna make time for exercise, period. Moving on um, and replace, which I guess is kind of the same thing as I was saying, like purge, like throw away the stuff that you were doing before and replace it with exercise instead. And not that you have to replace everything with exercise, I'm not expecting you to work out three hours a day during the time that you actually have home to relax. Like you still need to relax and stuff, duh. The next point is experimenting, which is actually super fun when it comes to working out. At least I thought so. So when I first started working out, I was actually on the exercise program, um, Beach Body On Demand. So I had a bunch of different kinds of workouts available to me. So I got to learn a bunch of different types of exercises, but after a while, I just didn't like following a video anymore. I just got kind of tired of it. So I just decided to watch my own videos on Netflix or YouTube or whatever. So watching my own thing while doing the workouts that I felt like I benefited from the most, that I saw the most results from, and that I just like doing. Just experiment with a bunch of different kinds of things. There is a free way to do this. You can literally just go on YouTube. There's a few channels that I really like. The number one that I really love is Fitness Blender because they have like a billion workouts to choose from and it doesn't have any like music in the background so you can just listen to your own music or even have your laptop to the side or electronic device to the side and watch something else that you want to and just follow along with the fitness blender videos there's also pop sugar which is a little bit more cheesy they're just all these girls are like yeah i love to work out let's go but there's a whole bunch of options and they even have dancing so it's almost like a zumba type of feel so they have that they have yoga they have hit workouts they literally have everything so those are two great youtube channels that are completely free and expose you to a bunch of different types of workouts that you can experiment with and see what you like the most. But after experimenting for a while, you know what you like and just custom make it for yourself like what I did. I just do my own workouts. Oh, I also still go on Pinterest and uh, I'll look up at-home workouts and every once in a while I'll go off of one of those. It just, it just depends on how you're feeling. Just do your own thing. <laughs> okay, so the last point is adjust as needed. I mean, that's kind of common sense. Like I said with the food, after a while of doing a certain thing, you figure out what you need more of, what you need less of, and you adjust as needed. Same thing with exercise. If you feel like it's too hard on your body to work out five to six times a week, 
then slow down just do three to four times a week and if an hour long workout is too long and you're really pushing it when it comes to like maybe you're having a hard time making it to work on time because you don't want to wake up too early or whatever it just is needed so yeah that's pretty much all I have to offer you guys. I kept it really, really general so that you can customize this to yourself and your own life. I could answer more specific questions if you guys want me to, just comment down below or message me and I'll get back to you. I'm making this video to help people. I am not creating this channel for, I don't know, to get famous, like that is not my point. This channel has really just become um, a home videos place, but Every once in a while, I feel like putting out an informational video because I feel like it'll benefit friends and family and really just anybody who wants to learn more about this stuff. Not that I'm an expert, like I said before, but I have figured out what works for me and I feel like it can help others too. This is very simple, what I'm presenting you with, and it makes it seem not so intimidating to start a healthier lifestyle. So I really hope that's what came across and again, if you have any questions, just come to me about it or comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next two vlogs, which will be staying healthy and fit through pregnancy and postpartum and losing the baby weight. So yeah, that's all and I'll see you guys later. Bye.